Hey, welcome back to my Final Fantasy VII Remake solo characters versus the boss. Versus the boss. Versus a boss. <laughs> so now we have the fight against Reno and Rude on top of the plate pillar. I'm going to be using Barrett for this one um, simply for his tanky nature. Tifa would probably work really well on this one and Cloud would probably do well as well. Um, Tifa with her mobility. It's a stark difference. It's a, a very interesting with like Barrett you want to like you want to be tanky and stuff because like he's slow. He's kind of a slower moving character but he can take a lot of hits whereas Tifa is like you know uh, weaker but also very agile. Yeah so it's really cool. I know I, I kind of wish that I'd done like all three of the characters in the in the, of the bot like just you know did like um, vids on all three characters in each of the fights, but I feel like that would have taken way too long. Probably might do that with Rebirth though, because I tend to spend a lot of time on that game. <laughs> all right, let's get into it. Yeah, so overall the Materia setup is about the same. The only real difference is, is that um, I'm going to be uh, using poison and sleep at some point during the fight. And there's a reason for that. And I'll tell you when we get there. But for right now, just enjoy the cutscene because this is kind of like one of my favorite parts of the game. Still alive and kicking? Damn right. Lead man sticks around to the credit roll. So we gotta keep moving if we wanna make it that far. You ready? Yep. Uh, Barrett does such a good job, the voice actor. They all do, actually, in my opinion. So obviously we restart, uh, start with refocus, and this, this, the beginning part of the fight, it's not too tough, you know, three on one. Reno will tend to kind of, I don't know, some, like, some of the bosses will, like, will focus on the character that you're controlling. I've noticed this at least definitely uh, there's one in particular that always does like he will attack literally whoever you are controlling so that's gonna be fun when I get to that that boss way but that's not too much later um, 
But yeah, over like like uh, Reno will he will attack like your other party members, which is kind of nice. Sometimes like you can get a breather there. But for the most part, he will come after you. But like <laughs> Barrett can take a lot of hits too. And this fight would be a nightmare to do with like no damage cuz obviously like you got the chopper, you got Rude over there shooting at you with the helicopter, you know? So, like, have fun trying not to take any damage from that, you know? So what I mostly did was... Just blocked his attacks and then, um... Just hit him with, like, focused or maximum fury to kind of burst him down. Then when you get to this part... Yeah, then when you get to this part, like, Reno's gonna start carpet bombing the, uh, the platform and stuff. <laughs> I tried shooting, but, like, he was out of range, so he was locked on. Now, I think if you did enough damage to it, you probably could, f uh, skip to the next phase when the helicopter crashed. But Rude came back. So, alright, so you saw what I did there. Um, you saw me change the cloud real quick and let him take the pyramid. Okay? So, there's a reason I did this. And obviously, the reason being is if you played the OG, you know what pyramid did. You know what pyramid does. It basically froze one of your characters and it'll sit there and just burn all your health all the way to 1 HP. So, I had to do this fight again because. I knew the pyramid was coming, but um, I was sitting there thinking, well, maybe I can dodge it. I did for a little while, but I underestimated how long it stays on the field. So it got hit. And so I was like, well, I'm basically stuck here because I can't switch to another character because it goes against my... I can't switch to another character and use an action with them because it goes against what, what my challenge was, you know. So I was like, well, I got to restart the fight. So here's what I was going to do. So that's what I decided to do that. Just switch to whoever, didn't matter who, let them take the pyramid. And then I could just use Barrett to get him out of it. Then this happened. <laughs> he did it again. <laughs> but fortunately, Tifa went unconscious. And basically, it meant that Barrett just got freed from the pyramid, if you saw what happened there. Like... I don't know if that's what caused it, but I got hit with a pyramid and I was like, oh, crap. I was like, well, I'm boned. And then Tifa died. And then, like, I just got freed from the pyramid. So it was almost as if, like, they don't allow you to get a game over that way. Which is interesting because in the OG, that could actually happen. In the OG, if uh, one of your par uh, characters was in pyramid and the other two died, then you basically got a game over there. So it's interesting that they didn't... Um, they didn't stick with that. Because I actually thought that the fight was over. So now this is a true, true one-on-one -on -one fight. Now it's going to be a two-on-one -on -one because now uh, Rude is now interjecting himself into the fight as well. And this is where sleep is going to come in handy. This is exactly why I, used, uh, why I picked sleep. Although I wasn't expecting me to be solo. Solo. <laughs> I was expecting my other characters to be alive there. But, um, yeah, definitely... Um, I would say if you're doing that, just switch to one of your other characters and let them tank the pyramid, basically. And then I, yeah, I, I only thought that Rude was gonna do it, or Reno was gonna do it only once. So yeah, I was, I wasn't expecting him to do it twice. That's why I got caught off guard by it. So you saw what I did there. I put Rude to sleep. So basically, he's just, he's out of the fight for right now, so I can focus. So now it's just a one on one with me and it, uh, Reno, which is just fine by me, to be honest. I would rather, I'd rather, uh, rather have Re uh, Reno than Rude. Although you could do one or the other. If you prefer prefer to get Rude out of the fight first, you can put Reno to sleep, I believe. And I didn't use poison at all. I accidentally. No, I, I see. You saw me pan the cam back because I was checking back to see if he, uh, if I woke him up because I hit him. But no. I kind of panicked a little bit. I was like, oh crap, I don't want Rude back in the fight yet. But yeah, you could choose who you want to put to sleep, basically. So you can just focus on one. And I'm still keeping an eye on Rude. Now I notice he, he's waking up now. So he's back in the fight now. Here he comes! 
And yeah, it would be a real problem if you had to take on two of them, especially with Rude's attacks, what he does. He, he loves to be up in your face. And he also has the ability to like grab you and stuff, do like the little command grab abilities too. You really don't want to deal with that. So it's just best to like put him to sleep. Let him take some naps. Yeah, plus who knows, like I'm pretty sure there's a double team attack there with that with that ability that Reno that Reno just did. The uh binding current or whatever. But either way, I was like, nah, I'm not gonna use the limit break on him. I'll take him out and then I'll use the limit break. Uh, put him back to sleep again. <laughs> take a nap. And then Interesting. I'm surprised. Oh, no, no, no. I guess I was taking the time to, like, heal, get back into the fight, or something like that. And then I was going to hit him with an uppercut or something, but then I was like, oh, wait, I got on my limit break. There we go. We'll just do this. And I think this ends the fight. No, but it did. It did some damage to him, though. Now I don't mind so much dealing with Rude, because now I can see what he's doing, basically, and then just kind of block it and stuff. With steadfast block, I'll get like my ATB gauge back, pretty nice, and then just hit him with arrow attacks. Yeah, he can do quite a bit of damage there, as you saw. Did like a thousand damage per that that hit there. Yeah, that whirlwind does a lot too, it's about thirteen hundred damage there. Triple shock wave. Then I was like, nah, let's go back to sleep. Oh, nope, he resisted. I, I guess at some point in time he's gonna like he's gonna resist the sleep. So I tried again. Yeah. So I was like, I guess he's not going to sleep right now. I was like, oh crap, he's gonna kill me. Thank God he did that though. The triple, triple shock wave. Once I get him staggered, I think we're good. So I hit him with arrow. Maximum fury. <laughs> And I was like, perfect, I got my limit break back again. I think the uh, the God or Dumarong gives an increased boost to your limit break gauge. Well, I'll let the cutscenes play out, so enjoy this. How do we stop it? Where are you? I'm at the... Uh, sir, 
Your activities unwittingly brought you into contact with the ancient, who is now back in our custody where she belongs. For this, you have my sincere gratitude. Alas, the sector in which you stand has been condemned. Ancient. Run! You have to go now! And where exactly do you expect them to go? <laughs> Aerith! Yeah, so I got my this free moment before the last cutscene plays. I'm going to end off the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.